What's up? Old Emmanuel Acho. And you know, when I say, oh, you know, I'm going in, I'm going to go in. Because I talk about Emmanuel Ocho a whole lot on my live stream, not so much on the video, because I don't really pay that overrated jive turkey much attention. The brother from coming to America. Yeah, yeah. Let me get into the African brother, won't I? You know, people always say, well, you know, you may not go into black folks. Yes, I do. And I have a real problem with non-African Americans who feel the need to try to talk about black folks that they don't really regularly associate with. Because Angel Reese is not going to necessarily be on Emmanuel Ocho's to listen to list. They come over here to the States, not all of them, but I'll come over to the States or come to Europe and they try to act white and act like they comfort and fit in with the massa and they fit in with what they're told to do because they have this duality that they're not, they're black, but they're not black like that. They're not going to take on the Negroid mindset. They're going to play go along, get along. So that's what you get. Now, he fed up good to the Fox machine. He fed up good to the mass on Fox. It's like, oh, I got to show out, show off. Call this woman all kinds of names. College player. But she got a ring. But then you see Snow White, Caitlin Clark, and you're like, oh, she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh, oh. Pillsbury Door, please, please keep land on me. This is what Ocho do. This is what a lot of them do. Now, putting that butter for biscuits in America 3Ks is, is common for a lot of so-called black analysts in different forms of life, be it sports, music, entertainment, politics. You see it all the time. They go hand over fist, hands on their ankles, holy knees for the masses to diss black people. To diss people that regardless if they have association with them or not, it's got to do something extra. And when Emmanuel Ocho got a co-sign from Jason Whitlock, well, you know that, oh, buddy, that's extra butter on the biscuits today. Now, Emmanuel had to eat crow because he got his behind handed to him on a platter on X and other forms, and rightfully so. How dare he go after this young woman who competitive, you could say she was rowdy. You could say she had ego. You could say all that, right? But she got the ring. That's what you play for is the ring. Caitlin Clark got everything but the ring. We're always taught in America. It ain't don't mean a thing without the ring. What difference does it make you score the most points, highest average, sell the most jerseys, have the best pom-poms, have the best crowd or if you don't win the ring? We only go by the ring. But he took it upon himself and said, well, you acting like, well, you know what? She went to the mountain. She went where Caitlin Clark didn't get to. Now, you know, Caitlin Clark had a one. Um, Emmanuel Archer would not be apologizing and he'd be doubling down. But since she lost, he got to come out and eat some mumble pie. And people pulled his coat. They always go extra against black folk because that's how they're able to be so-called journalists and so-called uh, uh, thinkers and all this other mess of the titles they give them. The reality is you got to do extra to try to appeal to the massa who don't really respect you because you're just another two bit third tier jive turkey that they can replace you with because they like more stiff neck brothers no matter where you're from. But it is something fashionable to get a cat from Africa or from another planet who looks like us but hasn't had our experience to talk to the think tank. This is a slick maneuver that ain't that ain't by accident, it's done on purpose. And I've listened to Emmanuel Alcho and he's all right. I mean he's articulate. You know, they dress him up and all that. But he ain't he ain't interesting. He's stiff and he plays the role stiff. That's what they like. That's what they want. You know. But when he got called off for going after Angel Reese, right on. He had it coming. He should not talk so much about black athletes anyway. Because it really ain't his jurisdiction. I don't care if you got a journalistic degree or you're over here, whatnot. You don't really live the experience. And we see that you're trying to mask yourself through the masses lens. Because that's how you got the job. It wasn't because of your great stimulating conversation. It's because you tried to walk this line 
where you try to, you know, and there's a fine line when you articulating your point as a journalist. And there's another fine line when you're going for the nail in the coffin, where you're trying to uh, demoralize. And you're also doing it in a racial way that will make you look more hipper than thou with your massa. That's what Emmanuel Ocho's guilt was because Emmanuel Ocho ain't really got nothing to say when we talk about the bottom line. And last I checked, Angel Reese got the dream and Caitlin Clark had a dream. Please hit like, subscribe, open thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another share review. Like my peace.